Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to the new series. It's finally back. Like I said in the last video, we're bringing it back to two to three a week if possible and experimenting a bit with the style of video. But for now, we're just going to go over a standard one and get straight into it and break down all the news because there's absolute tons, obviously, because the season has just gone live. And the first major news for those in the UK, like myself or the EU, we now have confirmation that Lego, not Lego, sorry, Apple have now got to allow Fortnite on the App Store in the middle, around the middle of or the second half of 2020. So anywhere between there and the end of 2025, we should expect that iOS Fortnite will be returning. And that means Lego, I guess, as well, which will be on iOS. So that's pretty cool. This is all happening very, very soon-ish. I guess it will fly by. We'll probably be on about season... I don't even know. We'll be on chapter, probably on chapter six, season three by the time iOS Fortnite comes out. So like a year from now, I suspect that this is the sort of time. Maybe even chapter... Season four of chapter six. So... Yeah, it'll be around this sort of time that it happens. So that's kind of neat to know for anyone excited for that. Now, the next piece of news I've got for you is the Ariana Grande new set skin, which is coming to the game very, very soon. This is going to be one that I think a lot of you guys should be excited for. It's one that doesn't really have a confirmation date yet, but it is coming very soon. So I think a lot of you will like to get access to that if you already own some of the Ariana stuff. But if you don't, then obviously it doesn't really matter if you don't like it. We also have the Behemoth SUV, which is currently going to be in the item shop now. If you are copying this, like always, don't forget to use code POST. It really does go a long way and help support the channel. It just helps me grow as a creator as well. So thank you anyone considering to do that. That is the new SUV, which is now in the shop. If you want the first SUV, I guess it's the first one they put into the shop, which is kind of neat as well for those that are excited for SUV stuff. There should be other ones coming in the future. I assume they'll do some collaborations with different brands as well to allow these as well. So that should be quite neat if you are excited for that. Keep your eyes peeled. We've also got some sort of mysterious radio voice line that got added and no one really knows when this plays or when it happens. It contains a 30 minute audio mostly containing of radio noise and helicopter sounds, but sometimes there's some sort of voice line. So listen to this and let me know what you guys think. So yeah, them voice lines were a bit weird. We do also have some Jonesy voice lines, but we'll come back to them at the end when we want to talk about storyline. But for now, I also want to mention that Epic are working on tutorials for the following. Follow this creator in Fortnite. Follow your first creator, which will probably give you some sort of challenge. Search for creators and share activity settings. I don't know what these are exactly for. It's obviously for, well, I know it's for the future of UEFN, so you can follow me in the game or other people, which would be awesome. So you guys will be able to find me in there. But it is kind of a strange one that they're going to do tutorials for it. But I guess for new players and people that might not understand the UI 100%, or maybe even us, if we get a little bit lost, it could be quite handy. And the next topic I want to mention is on vehicles, because vehicles are becoming more and more popular inside of Fortnite. We do now have some up and coming car bodies confirmed. We've got the Nissan 240Z, which is just a retro Nissan, which is really nice to actually see that they are doing 
something different from the sports cars we already have because i kind of want like the golf and the mini and cars like that to come into the game just because they're more generic and you see them regularly in real life rather than seeing constant sport cars in the game which you very rarely see in real life also we got the kovac c7 which is going to be coming in which is a uh, kovac c7 which is really nice and also the nissan z uh, performance again these are two kind of more performance based cars but they're especially the nissan z isn't an expensive car compared to maybe like a lamborghini and that's still expensive but nothing on that level so it's nice to see that they are kind of bringing in some more i guess technically affordable cars like rather than just a lamborghini or the ferrari and things like that so yeah it's kind of cool i like that and also phoenix have also acknowledged uh, that people are requesting for a pass of some sort for rocket racing i personally think that rocket racing needs a lot of improvements it's not very i find it not that fun to keep going back to it doesn't i love the mode when i first played it i really liked it and i thought it was really fun but now it's just kind of the same it's kind of like parkour but drive especially for a main kind of selling point to the game it's not like a creative map or anything it should really have more to it I just don't really enjoy the rocket racing mode as much as I used to just because the tracks don't really make me want to play it too much more they just kind of don't really give much I feel like there should be weapons similar to Mario Kart and then I think it would be more regularly played but also the pace of the game and the way it's kind of done off momentum is a bit weird like you've got to kind of build your momentum up to overtake people there isn't really too much there is skill to it but it's kind of it's kind of like a barrier that's quite hard to get really good at and it's hard to kind of come back in it as well. There's no like, you know, in Mario Kart, we'd have like the lightning or something like that, something really fun. So I think they need to make it more fun rather than more kind of competitive racing. But I might be wrong there. Maybe they'll like diverse into a weapon based one. And they do have weapons in Rocket League. So I could see it possibly working, but you just never know with these sort of things. You just never know where they're going to go and how it's going to work out. I also think it's safe to say that the Lockjaw car that you can see on the right will be coming to the game at some point as a purchasable vehicle. Obviously, we've already got the Behemoth SUV, which is part of uh, uh, the Megalodon Behemoth. So I assume we'll get this as well as a car at some point. So yeah, obviously it won't come with the turret and the attachments though. It'll just be the car itself. A fun little map change as well, which I didn't include the map change video. The Underground have officially taken over the actual Mount Olympus. And if you guys remember where the frog couple was getting married there's apparently something over there i'll let you guys go and check it out in game next time you're in br but it's a pretty cool little map change in easter egg apparently there's more of them and a big family so go and check it out i'm not going to put it in here i'll put it in a separate map change video when we get to it but i thought it's a pretty cool one to mention so you guys can check it out if you've made it to this point now let's take a little listen to jones's recent dialogue which has been put in the game which is kind of exciting for those that are storyline fans again i'll talk about it after actually but i'll mention something that's quite funny listen to it I just dethroned the King of Olympus. I think I've earned some downtime. I don't care. <sighs> okay, welcome back. Just so you know, Hope here has a little bit of a habit of picking a fight with the biggest bully she can find. So, we should make sure that we are in fighting shape. She's got her sights set on uh, Megalodon. Like, bad something or bad, bad something? Jones, you're late. Uh, first of all, we dethroned the King of Olympus. Second, no, I've been watching Megalodon. I don't like what I see. Bring your friend. My sister, Valeria, is the arrogant super genius who found a way to summon Pandora's box. So I kind of consider myself on the hook for fixing this ever-expanding mess. You know, Jones. So, I spent some time poking around Meg's camp. I was right. The man's a full-blown wannabe tyrant. He wants to take the island. And he might just be strong enough. But he's not gonna make his move until his little shark ship is refueled. Which explains the pipeline. Jones and I are gonna keep gathering intel. You keep fighting. Make us look good. Hey, uh, Jones? I heard something out there I really don't like. Maybe it's time for us to round up the surveillance equipment. Just chatter. I hope. And that leaves us once again rounding up the surveillance equipment. I'm kind of fed up of rounding up that. I've been rounding up that since chapter one with a lot of quests. So how many more cameras on mics do I have to actually place in Fortnite to get these challenges done, man, for the storyline? Anyway, kind of nice to actually have that with Jones. It's kind of neat and it just feels more Fortnite-y when you have that in BR. I hope it does go somewhere with the story and even the Megalodon, which we have as the boss. And I've been pronouncing him Megalo for a while just because when you read it, it kind of gives that vibe and then Don... Megalodon, but I guess when you mix them together, it's Megalodon, like the big shark, the giant shark, because you guys probably know what a Megalodon is, so 
I guess that's his official name. I just wasn't too sure why the word wasn't joined together. But anyway, it's not Magalo. <laughs> but let's not call him that again. I kind of like that. It's kind of a cool name, though. So maybe I'll just keep calling him that for a laugh. But yeah, we have that there with the storyline quest, which is neat. And that's basically some of the main stuff we have. I just want to show off a few of the leaked skins as well. Here you can see here, like a little preview and overview from Fortnite GG of all of the leaked skins back from 2019, which have not officially been released in game in the shop. So these are kind of neat. Obviously, the ones we're mainly focusing on are the ones in the top row, the last five there, which is kind of neat. So you can see them five skins are coming out. Oh, that Jing one a lot and the employees pretty cool as well. So they're really nice cosmetics, which will be coming at some point to the item shop. So if you are buying any of them, don't forget to use code POST. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.